Alan Johnson here from Piranha Off-Road Products with Dennis Dwyer. Dennis is our battery expert. There are different characteristics. Yeah. When we're charging these batteries, specifically with the three major choices that the four-wheel driver has, some require higher voltage than others. Not all these will match together. I'd like you to just touch on that if you can. Well, that's really a That's big... a can of worms. Yeah, that is we, a can of worms, well. Ellen. In the traditional sense of parallel charging, and this is what I think you're referring to, in parallel charging, when we sometimes match up one or two batteries on the auxiliary, we would like to have them the same. They've got to be a similar capacity, we've got to have a similar technology. It will tank your batteries, you will not get a satisfactory charge, and you will not get an optimum rate. Now what we didn't mention with charge rates, Alan, was the flat plate AGMs and the spiral wound AGMs. These batteries are sensitive to charge. Absolutely. And they do have to put out your 14.2 volts, 14.4 volts, yes. which, by the way, your modern motor car is more than capable of doing. The last thing I wanted to just touch bases on yeah. is these calcium batteries. The new entrance to the, the market? The new entrance into the market, yes. yes. A little bit of information, yes, because people do talk about them a lot and people pump them up as being the greatest and best thing, but not for older cars, and I think we should just explain why that is found into the car starting, automotive starting, and for that matter the four-wheel drive starting of course, but the calcium battery or the calcium technology usually is a semi-sealed, they're not totally sealed, it's still flooded lead acid, and the calcium refers to the alloy we use in the metal of the plate. So the actual carrying of the sponge lead which makes up your active material. Now these batteries are less tolerant to undercharge and I know that all sounds like gobbledygook but the fact is it's got to be charged at a certain voltage yep. so and a lot of the older cars if we can't get that don't voltage up that battery is not going to charge and it will wind down and Correct. subsequently it'll yep. stop starting your car so you can have a perfectly good battery in a perfectly good older car and it won't work Correct. So there's nothing wrong with the battery and it's not a warranty issue. That's the important thing to discuss. It's nothing wrong with it. It's not a warranty. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with your car. No, there isn't. <laughs> Incompatibility. Thank you very much, Dennis. I hope this has been some help to you guys. We're there to help. Thank you.